Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob Tremendous Questions. Dr. Bob, my ears ring a lot of the time, especially when I wake up in the morning. During the day, it seems a little bit better. Do you have any suggestions? Well, I always look for food sensitivities, especially dairy and gluten. I just actually looked inside of somebody's ears, and we have a camera now. I could literally look inside of your ear, look at your ear or your eardrum or your tympanic membrane. It should be shiny. If it is dull, that means your body is holding on to fluids and there's some inflammation. I would avoid peanut butter, gluten, and dairy. There are a couple products that we use. We use a product that has some vitamin A in it, and sometimes you may need a mineral. Great question. Dr. Bob, what could be uh, a supplement or eaten to get rid of eczema? I have a four-year-old girl with a few patches. Wanted to know if it's hereditary, and they wanted to uh, just know my opinion. Well, what I have noticed when it comes to eczema, black currant seed oil is one of the best. It's omega-369. If you contact my team, I know that we could make a wonderful product available to you. Give it a little bit of time, but black currant seed oil has worked tremendously. Dr. Bob, I have two fairly large gallstones, pain and discomfort. They did an ultrasound. They said that I had stones. Um, you wanted to know if there's a way we could prevent from having the gallbladder out. Well, let me tell you this. That's why I wrote Dr. Bob's Guide to Prevent Surgery. We actually have a gallbladder chapter in the book, probably one of the most common surgeries on the planet. If you wanted to, you could just buy that chapter and read it. We have a protocol for liver gallbladder distress. Remember, your gallbladder makes, I'm sorry, your liver makes bile. The gallbladder is the reservoir of bile. You do not want them to take your gallbladder out. If you had your gallbladder out, it'd be very wise for you to contact us because you'd need to be on a protocol, or you'd be wise to be on a protocol to promote optimal health. Dr. Bob, watch several of your videos, thank you. And the one about cancer and iodine, you mentioned bronzing on the left cheek. This is what I've learned over time. Pituitary stress and liver stress, I just see patterns of people tend to have more bronzing on the left cheek. I wrote Dr. Bob's Guide to Detoxification. I would encourage you to get the book and follow the basic principles. Last question, an important question. Vitiligo, what causes it and can it be reversed? Then a lot of research on this. I find that most people have vitiligo, have stress in their lives, and there's a urine test that we complete called the Organics Urine Test. I would encourage you to have that done. We look at the results of that, but we have found oftentimes there's an association between stress and L-tyrosine and melanin. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.